everybody, you know me, I love science. So when Mythbusters comes to the Imagination Station in Toledo, I need to find my superhero. Let's do some looking around. Tori, you're my superhero, especially when it comes to science. Is that a lot That's of pressure? That's sad. If I'm your superhero, I feel sorry. <laughs> Well, you know, I've been watching as a fan for so long. I'm so glad you came to visit me. Oh my gosh, this is so great. I yeah. just, Toledo is such a great town, and they are going to love this exhibit because yeah. if you're a fan of the show, this is probably the closest you're going to get to being a Mythbuster. Yeah. Uh, the, the props aren't props. They're actual machines that we built for the show. Now mm -hmm. they're here for people to get close to and check out. Yeah, we even get to see, like, the blueprint room. Start from scratch, really, yeah. and walk all the way around. See how bad our welds are, <laughs> how how horrible our buildings. Like if you look close, you're like, oh gosh, that's how they built it. I wouldn't know because I don't know how to weld, <laughs> but I would be like, that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> now, how do you guys come up with the different myths? Obviously, you have viewer input, but really, when it comes down to rubber meets the road, how do you think pick the right ones you want to do? We, you know, we would go through a process, and it was like it had to have some criteria where it was like, is it going to be? Is there enough science to test? Is it going to be entertaining? Because yeah. if it's boring, why, well, why even do the show? If there's blowing something up or fire included, you're good. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and, and if there was a, like enough to test, then yeah. we would do an experiment. Yeah. yeah. And I love it how you guys always take it to the next level. Yeah, this is what we were supposed to test. Now let's take it well, to the next level. Well, if it's worth level. doing, it's worth overdoing. That's what I say. <laughs> Tell me some of your favorites. Oh, the gosh. of the we, show. We, <laughs> one of my favorites, we were testing uh, if you had a cement truck and your, the concrete <laughs> yeah. set off inside of it, could you use dynamite to dislodge the, the concrete? Oh, right, right, right. And so we were testing it, testing it. We were using like a stick of dynamite. We got up to like five sticks, nothing happened. And so finally we were like, we need an ending to this story. <laughs> so we loaded up, we, with the help of the FBI, we loaded up a concrete truck with 800 pounds of explosives and disintegrated it. And it was my first explosive and I, you never forget your first time. <laughs> you never forget your first no. time. And it just obliterated the whole thing. Oh my gosh, yeah, it was for just miles. disintegrated. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily you had some pros on scene for you on that one. Well, we learned, we've learned, like in, in the very early days, we learned if you want to do anything dangerous or illegal, Get the police, get the FBI, and the fire department involved, and then you can pretty much do whatever you want. The concrete explosion, of course, is one of your favorites. Yeah. But we've watched you just get pummeled yeah. time after time. I know. We love that, but we hate that. Tell yeah. me a little bit about something. I think, I think everybody loves to see a grown man get hurt. <laughs> My guys wanted to know, how does asphalt taste? Uh, it doesn't well, taste not good, good, right? Yeah. <laughs> I know. People are like, how did you not break every bone in your face? But I, got I don't lucky. know. Yeah, but I think I think I've learned over the years to start saying no. Now tell me a little bit about your background. Where are you from? So I grew up in California, uh, and I went to film school out there, and then worked at Lucasfilm for about eight years, and worked on Star Wars. And oh my movies. gosh! How and that's, wonderful! And that's where I met Grant. Star Wars, I'm touching. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm really excited about the, one, the new now. one that's coming. Okay. okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> you said Grant? Yeah, so I met Grant there, uh, Adam and Jamie, we all met working in the special effects industry. So when Jamie and Adam started Mythbusters, they called on us to come in as background builders. And then Turned out to be TV personalities, we really. Into hosts, yeah. yeah, well, I think that's the thing I love about the mix. We have different personalities that are our hosts. And we all connect with you in a different way. Like I said, I feel like, well, heck, we've known each other for a couple decades now, haven't we? <laughs> yeah, it's weird, huh? <laughs> Not too weird, though, right? Not at all. Okay. No. Not awkward at all. How much science base do you have? You were talking about being a film school, but... I know, like, none of us have <laughs> degrees in science. Uh, Grant has a, a bachelor's in electrical engineering, so that's about as close. Like, that's the only person that has any kind of degree in science. Carrie and I have degrees in film and art. Uh, Adam has a high school diploma, and then Jamie has a good degree in Russian. So, so but we just, we're, we're all very curious and yeah. we all love to build, so. Well, and I think that's the part of it we love is because you're kind of looking at it from my perspective. I might not be a scientist that has had a doctorate in anything, but I still want to know how, how, how long can I hang from that ledge before I whack my shin? Yeah. Hey, 
Remember that time? Oh, oh God, can I forget? <laughs> I still got a scar to prove it. Do you really? That was the first time I ever oh. went to, I was rushed to the emergency room. Yeah, we, we saw that one. <laughs> like, we loved that one. Well, we didn't love it. <laughs> I and mean, we were talking about that because the sound effects were still there. And of course, you know, in Mythbuster style, it went slow-mo yeah. and then another slow-mo. I know. <laughs> You're really including a lot of the country, really. You're all over the place. Yeah, and the, you know, I think the reason the show lasted for so long and was so popular is because people really wanted to know, is this true or false? Right. Are these myths, you know, did this really happen or is it just folklore? <laughs> Love Tell me about your co-hosts, a little background on all of them as well, some kind of fun stories behind the scenes. So we did one, you know, this, like Carrie and I go back and forth yeah. and we tease each other, but there was one episode where we were testing uh, if you stuck your tongue to a frozen cold <laughs> I remember when it's that one, right? Now we're from California, so yeah. we don't get cold winters. Yeah, like we do here. You would probably like learn that at a very yeah, young age. Right. And so we had to test it with a pig's tongue before I we tested it with a human tongue. <laughs> and so we had this that whole experiment set up where we made the tongue body temperature, but we needed saliva to put paint on it. And she it. made you guys spit in a jar. We had a spit. <laughs> that was so gross. It was disgusting. <laughs> it was. But she came out after and she put it on the, the table. And while she looked away, I swapped it out for another identical one that I filled up with water. <laughs> And I was like, I, I go, I'll drink it. And she was like, I dare you. And so I drank it, and then she threw up. <laughs> oh, so that was a good one, and she still hasn't got me back for that one. Practical joker that you are. Yeah. yeah she's going to get you back. You know she yeah, will. Yeah, <laughs> sucks. Um, so tell me a little bit about now that the show is ending. We're all very sad about that. So tell me what, what's next. Well, we're, I mean, we had 14 years of yeah. a show. It's kind of like unheard of in it television. Is. Uh, but, you know, it was, it, we had a great run and now we're looking forward to, we have new projects that we're working on. Carrie and I were doing a show called Thrill Factor on Travel Channel. Super. And we went around the country riding roller coasters and looking at the science behind that. So, it's been it's Not been a bad great. gig? No, it's, Not it's, a bad gig. it's been, <laughs> like, Mythbusters was great, but it's like we're really excited about the future. Yeah, yeah, and so am I, you know, you've been teaching people, not just kids, but teaching people for decades as well. Tell yeah. me a little bit about how that feels. Well, I think... I think a lot of people love the fact that we're not in lab coats and scientists, that we're just normal people right. and people can relate to that and we can explain the science in a simple way. Um, and I think that's why it has such a big impact is because people can get excited about science where normally they wouldn't. <laughs> you want to do a myth together? Yeah. Wanna bust something? I got a challenge for you. You too? Let's All right, see. let's go. Let's see if you can Check do what I can do or not. All right. You ready for this challenge? I am. All right, so the challenge is, this is all about friction. And if you can pull the tablecloth out fast enough without disturbing my dishes. the dishes. This all is right. Thanksgiving. Let me show you how okay. it's not done. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, I surprised myself. All right, so you got a table <laughs> over there. Your face was like, I, I can't believe I it. I can't did. believe it. I usually it just goes everywhere. <laughs> All right, so here okay. is your okay. here is your test. Excuse me, let's Ted. See how, let's see how Ted's hanging out over here. I don't know who this let's is. Let's see but. how many superpowers you okay. have. And do we may do we have a wand? Do you have to wave or any kind of magic powers? You we do have whatever to say? you want, whatever works for you. It's based on friction. Yeah. And if not, it's gonna go. Everyone else is gonna have these dishes in their in their living well, room. Is what's gonna happen? Yeah. All right, you ready? Three, two, one. Pretty good. <laughs> Not bad, huh? Yeah. You, you just spilled a little bit of coffee. You know, that's it. No big deal. We got this. We can wipe it up. Nice with, work. Right? Yeah, right. Nice job, superhero. <laughs> Woo! On to new adventures. Good job. You too. <laughs>